Hey y'all, it's Lisa. Late wave, I don't know. <laughs> Jazz hands. Hey y'all, it's Lisa with Our Gray House and in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to make a little sign, mini sign. So I got this scrap piece of wood from a client's house and oh, I need to sand it. So I wanna make sure the edges are, I mean, they don't have to be like baby's butt smooth, but they also don't have to have, like that had a little bit of a lip to it where the cut wasn't, you know, making it smooth, I don't know. I'm just using this little sanding block from the Dollar Tree. I like it, but it does get, you know, the little things, little, some of it falls off. Now that we've got it smooth, we're gonna be using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. And I use it for a lot of my projects. You guys have seen it before. But what I'm gonna do is just paint. I need to paint really all sides because the back, I could make something else on the back. But um, first I'm gonna sand that, ouch. I'm just gonna do a light coat on both sides. Kind of want it to look a little rustic. Not like super finished out, but also, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll give it a second coat. Here's what I'm thinking. I think I might kind of want to make it look like shiplap, so I want to make sure the paint is also going in the same direction as the shiplap. So if you see any strokes in my paint, it's not up and down strokes, it's gonna be sideways because that's how I'm gonna do the shiplap. Although I guess I could do it up and down, that wouldn't really matter, but because you know how people are putting shiplap up and down? I don't know, maybe it's probably called something different. But anyway, I'm gonna put on another coat and this time I'm gonna go sideways, sideways with it. Because if you see any of the brush strokes, and you probably will, I'm gonna distress it a little bit too, but still, I wanna kinda of have it, the brush strokes going kinda of the same way that the shiplap would be going. Now, I'm gonna use my heat gun to kinda of dry it off a little bit quicker because I'm impatient, and I wanna to get to the next step. Next, I'm gonna be using these two rub-on transfers. I got them both from the Dollar Tree, and sometimes they're hard to find, sometimes they're like, bam, there they are, so who knows. But, I'm gonna be using this middle one, the circle, but I'm gonna try to like cut it a little bit so I can kind of spread it out some. And so I may have to use some of these other pieces as filler pieces so it doesn't look like empty in that spot. And then I'm gonna be choosing one of the words off of this sheet to go in the middle. And it has like, my first thought was fam, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> and then I thought family, but then I thought, well, that's kind of a big word. And then put in the rub around transfers around it. I don't know. That seems kind of a big word, home. I mean, that's kind of a safe thing, like home. You know, everybody does signs like that. But I actually think I'm gonna try to do the word family. I cut out the word family. I was gonna cut out the word joy, but I think, when I think of the word joy, I think of Christmas. So, and this is not a Christmas craft. Here's the rub-on transfer that I'm gonna be cutting up a little bit. I'm gonna just try to cut where I feel like there are already gaps, so I can kind of spread it out just enough to go around this word family on my little white block. We're now being joined by Supervisor Captain. So I'm gonna take my block, set it down, put the word family there. Then I kind of want the greenery on top and on bottom. What I'm gonna do first is put this rub on transfer on so I have my point of reference where the eucalyptus is gonna go around it. And then I'm going to put a little circle that I cut out and then I cut out an additional one so that I can kind of use it as a filler. And if you remember, I said I was gonna to try to add some, like a shiplap look, but I kinda of wanna make sure that this, that the surface is pretty smooth so that the rub on transfers will adhere okay and it's kind of distressed it a little bit, which is totally fine. I think I'm just gonna use this, the width of the ruler to create my faux shiplap. Well, that wasn't straight. Good thing I did it in pencil. 
that's how it's looking so far. And I'm liking it. I'm just gonna put the family kind of in the middle, but I think I'm gonna erase a little bit where that the um, pencil marks are. I'm gonna use this, and this is just a little Pampered Chef cleaning tool, but I'm gonna use it for my rub on transfer stuff. Now try to rub down really hard so that way it I don't have to go back and try to replace it or anything like that. If you'll notice the letter Y on this, it is, looks a little bit lighter than the rest of the letters. That's because I rubbed hard enough and it's transferring. If it still looks dark, it's probably still sticking to the transfer tape stuff. Okay, now the moment of truth. The A looks like it was sticking still to the transfer tape, but as I started to pull it up, it was looking okay. So now, just carefully, yep. And that's how it's looking so far. And again, just taking this tool to rub it all down and really trying to make sure that it's all adhering to the little wood piece. Taking that bottom half that I had cut apart, and I'm gonna apply it to the bottom. Here's how it's looking so far, and it looks okay, but I still feel like, especially on this side right here, it's like a straight line, and I need to kind of soften that with just a few eucalyptus leaves so it looks like it's a continuous wreath. And I'm slowly pulling up, and because as I'm doing it, I'm just trying to make sure that all the leaves are like rubbed on to the little wood block. And as I just picked this part up, I noticed that a leaf didn't go down, so now I'm gonna quickly go back in and rub and make sure that it stays down. And that's how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. And yeah, it wasn't too hard. It took, you know, it takes a little bit of maneuvering with the scissors and you do have to rub a little hard sometimes, especially if the surface is uneven, but I think it turned out pretty cute. I absolutely love how this turned out. And I know a lot of DIYers say it, but I will also tell you if I don't like how something turned out. And this one is gonna look so cute on a tiered tray. It is rustic enough, modern farmhouse. I think it'll go with almost any decor though, truthfully. And I just love how it turned out. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.